This dump truck is like the project that never ends. My first shot. <laughs> It was leaking really bad, and so then, you know, our youthfulness, as Dad would call it, say, wow, let's just take the muffler out and go straight pipe. So, that's, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do you already got soot all over your face, bro. It happens. <laughs> We're gonna need a pry tool or hammer. There's a pry tool. Well, well if it wasn't drunk, it is now. It ain't coming. We gotta grind it. I think we gotta bend these tabs off. Do you have a smaller pry bar? This is so big. So when we fired it up, I'm sure it's something we could have probably repaired, but we like nice sounding trucks. Yeah. Uh, but it's leaking here, as you can see, leaking on the muffler and up on the frame, which exhaust leaks under the cab. I believe it don't pass DOT when you got exhaust leaks, correct? I don't know. I think so. Well, we got, got her off. Exhaust systems are never fun. No. Rust, rust and corrosion and soot. Soot. But we got her. That's all that matters. That is off. Dad came out here. It's like, what are you guys doing? It's like, well, what do you think that flex pipe we had to pick up the other day was for? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna basically just go from pipe to pipe here. And then we got better fuel economy, right? Sure. Is that how we should sell it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna need a swivel. That's supposed to be mom picked it up. Odor eliminator for the cab. I have not much hope, but we gotta try something. The mouse urine is. It smell like. I don't know, I can smell it. All right, we've got her all uh, hooked together. Are you gonna test fire? Oh, yeah. You gotta test fire it. on who's the first guy to complain about how loud it is? Duggo. Duggo. <laughs> I'm gonna say Randy. Eric, he'll just smile. He'll laugh. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> that should do. Duggo! I squirted smell neutralizer in there, so do you think doors open, doors closed? What, what's your suggestion? By the time they respond to that question, it's going to be done. What's yeah. the instructions say? Where's the squirt bottle? Other side of the truck. Maybe it We fixed your exhaust done. system. Yeah. Jeez, I've been there, done that, and that's maybe why I can't hear out of my right ear. How bad is it? Go find out. <laughs> All I know is a 250 Cummins straight piped will deafen anybody. So, how bad is it? I don't know. I was in the cast. Do you want to hear it? I would like to, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's unbelievable because been there, done that. Your Peter belts are straight piped. Uh, I don't know. That's a little different. I don't know why, but. It's gonna be deafness.
Is that our first complaint? Does that count as a complaint? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh gosh. So we have uh, another load of chemicals showing up. We're gonna put this load in the cold storage because our chemical warehouse is uh, full of seed now. So, anyways, this uh, load is from Ag Chem Solutions and this delivery is here now. So we're gonna get it offloaded, put it where we normally used to keep chemicals. So we just got the chemical unloaded from Ag Chem Solutions, and then we organized it. It's in cold storage. Do we have it all yet? Like I all think, of our chemicals. I think here? we're pretty much good to go. Uh, let's go. How many more loads you got left? This is the last one. What is that? Is that your hat on the ground? Oh my goodness. Well, it's a good thing it's not a tornado in Minnesota today. I think I dropped that last one. Yeah, this is the last one. So remind me to shut the gate. Empty all the odds. How is the weight? thing working. Well, it's pretty good. I, what I notice if you load more on the front of the truck, seeing that uh, seeing that it's plumbed into the trailer, it'll underweigh you. It's not accounting for a lot of weight that the tractor's taken, but that's only 1% off or something. I mean, it's still pretty close. So. It's been nice. It's There's been no sneaking heavy loads in anymore no, from the field no. without the guys knowing. It. Right. We'll just have to unplug that. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Look at this. So that's as, long, nice. as long as you keep the truck aired up, if the tires are on the ground, that's not what the caliber is for. But there you go. You gotta keep that off the ground. That looks like some nice corn. Yeah. 58 and a half test weight. I'm sure Steve and Tony really appreciate you loading out of the slow bend. Right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Get the old ones or the slow ones out of the way. Yeah. That's really nice looking corn. It's coming back with nice grades and good moisture. I think 14.3, 14.5. We need to have it under 15% without taking a dock. So it's right where we like it. What do you got? 96 to 80. Yeah, and it'll go up a little bit for a minute or so as it's still layering up the last little chunk of weight. We, uh, three full loads today was going to overdo our contract by a, maybe 100 or 200 bushels, so we'll be just perfect. Sweet. So we missed the piece of equipment, I guess. We brought this thing down right after harvest, have it looked at at the mechanic shop, and then it just got brought back home, parked in the shed, so there's bugs all over it. Good job, Brody! So we were out doing all that other stuff. Brody, getting her done. Well, hasn't this day turned to disappointment? Lost our sun, it's windy and cold. What do we got going on? Well, it's, it's good news. Good news? Good news. Ah, center's empty. Well, that's not good. It means it's but the side door, we should have opened the side door a little bit before the center one went empty. So that, but it'll just take a little longer. Cat was just here trying to get us to buy a versatile. Versatile. And when's it showing up? Oh, you know, we, I, I put on my best vest for him. Oh my! He didn't even comment about it. <laughs> No, he was just out to talk. So I recalibrated due to us moving the fifth wheel plate forward. Yeah. It was a, on that first load where it wouldn't have been calibrated, it was quite a ways off. Oh, just really? Just for moving that fifth wheel plate two clicks or three notches or whatever. So you recalibrated the weight scale? Yeah. How much more weight did sliding it ahead get you on your front end? I don't know. I went onto the scale too fast and lost track. <laughs> well, I got the steer axle, that was only 9,500 still, so I didn't do a lick there. Okay. Huh. So, by moving the 
fifth wheel plate where the truck hooks up to the trailer, you can push more weight to the front of the truck. In theory, we're trying to get more weight on the nose of the truck. I'm loading it as far forward as I can do with the first two piles. What's your theory on that? It's hard to get the weight on the front of the long nose piece. Very hard. We're going to have to cut the frame shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Well, this is going to take a while with that stream. I think it just slowed up. I'm going to jam. What time is it? I'm going to make time another for load. You to get a watch. You ever heard that one? That's dangerous because it gets caught in something, then you get drugged down the road or into the PTO shaft or into the combine. Everything's always so dramatic. With you. What happens? <laughs> How many hogs did you haul inside of this thing? I think it was a half dozen. Did you steal this from Pomida? No, they would <laughs> sell them after they got bad wheels on them. So the wheels are not like this. <laughs> oh man. It's working. Just that that hole is so small. I don't know, not the best design. We're running out of time. Elevator's gonna close down. This is the last load that we're gonna do. We filled the contract earlier today and we were just hauling early for another contract that they let us do just so we could make a full day of hauling. But that's too way too slow to get him back to town in time and I don't want that truck sitting loaded through planting season so we're gonna side draw him well here something a little more speed you ever notice something that even when it's dead calm out it's still windy at a bend site let's see how Eric's backing skills are here trucks always pull these doggone tarps off the pit which keeps rain, snow, moisture, dust, gravel out. They're so heavy it almost takes a four-wheeler to pull. I wonder if the dump truck's gonna sound as nice as that one. I doubt it. <laughs> How is the projects going up here? Never better. Never better. Every morning I wake up and say, God, I can't wait to get to work so I can do some more carpentry. See, it's all about attitude, right? Yeah. Oh, man. So we're, uh, you're on your last window, right? Yeah, I really don't understand. Every this. single window has been done differently. So this one, he's going sideways with the sideboards. Let's go look at this other one. This one's by far my favorite, and this is the one he started in. And then he said it was way too difficult to cut the tin properly. Put tin on the side of this one, which is, like I said, my favorite. It looks really nice. This one here, he went just big boards on the side, which looks good too. All of them look good. It's just, you should have done the tin on everything. That was horrible to do. <laughs> Hated that. <laughs> yeah, you spent a lot of time on that one. Those are like that last room. This one's pretty cool. Got the barn wood to match the hallway. It's kind of just whatever he feels like doing. Ain't that right? What's that? Just whatever you feel like doing, you're doing. Yeah, it's all chaos, mayhem. Um, I just 
you know that old saying measure twice cut once well I've been measuring like three four times and cutting three three times who could it be this time <laughs> there's why nothing's too productive I can't help it I'm needed <laughs> all right guys that's the end of this video appreciate you watching stopping in and we will see you in the next one yeah.